Are you starting to work on your personal brand as a sales manager and you have no idea where to get started? If you're feeling like that, you are not alone, my friend. I was so confused when I started working on my personal brand. There are so many things to consider into what to put into your brand. So today, I'm going to try and help you out and give you the number one key to your personal brand. So stick around. Hey friends, it's Leanne, and when I first started my personal brand, there were so many decisions to make. In fact, five years in, I'm still making a ton of decisions on the daily. But one thing that would have really, really helped me out way back when was knowing what that one thing is I should focus on today, especially in the early days of developing my personal brand. So instead of having you to wade through all of the chaos of all the bits and pieces and decisions that you're going to have to make about your brand, I'm going to give you the one thing that you might want to focus on today to kind of give you a head start on all the other decisions that follow. But before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that little bell to be notified of new content. Each week, I'll be posting tips and tricks about personal branding just for sales managers that you can use to grow your brand week over week. And stick around to the end of the video. I have one bonus tip for you, one question per se, that you can ask yourself that will help you amplify your brand further. This is something that's not found on the blog post, so stick around to the end. So friends, here it is. The number one key to personal branding isn't your product, it isn't the way that you sell, and it isn't the way that you care for your customers after the transaction. My friend, the number one key to personal branding is all about you. Knowing who you are and what you are going to amplify through your personal brand will help set the stage for making decisions across the board. So we're going to talk a little bit about how we get to know you a little bit better so that you can start focusing on what to amplify in your own personal brand. There are eight areas or eight questions I feel you can ask of yourself to really dig deep and find out what it is about you that you can amplify in your personal brand. When you start to amplify these particular things, your honesty and your authenticity are going to shine. And that's what people are drawn to when looking at a brand. They want to know the authentic you, not the made up you, the made up persona that you think you need to make when creating a brand. So let's look at these eight areas and start to pick out things that really resonate with what you want to amplify in your brand. Area number one are your personality characteristics. These are words used to describe you that include empathetic or caring. Are you kind? Are you energetic? Are you humorous? You want to take a toll of all of the personal personality characteristics that define who you are. And at the end of the exercise, we're going to circle which ones we want to amplify through your brand. Area number two are your skills. And you'll have a number of skills, including both hard skills and soft skills. Hard skills are things like you are a good woodworker, whereas a soft skill might be something like you have a really good communication style. So looking at all of those different skills, you might find something that you want to amplify. Area number three are talents. Talents are natural abilities that you possess in greater degree over others. Great example would be Elizabeth Harmon from The Queen's Gambit, who is a worldwide chess champion in her early 20s. Yes, it's a fictional story, but she plays chess better than anyone in the world. That is her talent. Now, you don't have to be the best in the world, but are you really good at something and have natural talents in some areas that you want to amplify in your personal brand? Area number four are strengths. Strengths are things that you are naturally good at, similar to talents, but you don't have to work so hard to master it. 
Olympians have talent in their chosen sport, but they still need to practice day in, day out, day in, day out to be one of the best in the world. A strength, you don't have to work nearly as hard, and yet you still complete almost a near perfect performance each and every time. A communication skill could be a strength for many individuals. It's not one of my strengths. It's something I need to practice each and every day, and I have a long way to go. But someone else may be able to deliver a video in flawless style. Journalists would be considered people who have the strength of communication. They don't have to work so hard at it, and they deliver a near flawless performance every single time they're in front of the camera. Area number five are values. Especially when it comes to business, Ethics and moral code is a huge part of what we do every single day. And we need to keep our finger on the pulse of that. Some of us do it better than others. And that might be something that you want to amplify in your personal brand. Area number six are beliefs. And beliefs are something that you hold to be true. Again, we all have a different belief system. But take a look at your belief system and see if there's one in particular that you feel is critically important for developing a personal brand. If your target audience also holds belief in high regard, you may choose to amplify your beliefs as a way of making your product or service more endearing to that audience. The next area are passions, and of course one of my favorite ones. Passions are things that you have an intense enthusiasm about. And if you have a passion that you want to amplify in your brand and you feel will draw people towards you, you should tap into this area. And the final area are traits. Often they can be physical traits, but not all the time. A trait can make you very memorable, and that's important when developing a personal brand. Some obvious examples from pop culture could include Billie Eilish and her green hair. That makes her very memorable. Or perhaps Gary V and his particular communication style that is often laced with profanity, but that's what sets him apart from his competitors. Some would say my short hair is a trait that I amplify through my personal brand. But another trait that I amplify is the fact that I am an avid tea drinker. This would also be one of my passions, I would think. But the fact that I drink a lot of tea does make my brand enduring to others, especially those that drink tea, but it also gives my audience a glimpse into my personal life. They know that at any point of the day, I am lugging around a giant tea mug and, and enjoying a cup of tea. That's one of the things that I amplify through my personal brand. Friends, I've created a download that you can use to start detailing all of the things about your personality. You can find it over at leannecalderwood.com forward slash personality. And friends, after going through that exercise, you're still struggling to find things you want to amplify in your personal brand. Here is my bonus tip for you. It's a question, a question that I want you to ask yourself. And here it is. What do people ask me about all the time? People may say, hey, can I pick your brain about something? Or, hey, how do you do that? Those are clues that you possess something that you should amplify in your personal brand. That question can also be found on the workbook exercise. Go and download it today, leannecalderwood.com forward slash personality. And friends, if you have already decided what you are going to amplify in your brand, I would love to hear about it. Join the conversation over in our Facebook group at Personal Branding for Sales and share what it is that you are sharing about your personal brand. Friends, I look forward to hearing all about your authentic self. Please stay in touch and let us know how it's going over in the Facebook group. Bye for now.